Welcome to our lesson about using the split tool. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to split or cut events. You can freely split events wherever you want. However, if you split with the snap function toggled on, your cuts will align with the type of snap and the quantize that you've selected, bars and beats, time, etc. Let's hide some of the tools on the toolbar so we can better see the snap quantize tools. Let's get rid of the transport buttons. And let's say the view switches as well. Here's the split tool. Appropriately, it's got a scissors icon on it and it's blue when it's active. Let's try a free split. Make sure the snap tool is off. That's this toggle right here. It's blue when it's active. Anywhere we click, we'll split that event. The vertical black lines show where the split is. We're able to easily undo our split using Undo Split from the Edit menu, or we can use a Control or Command Z. The Undo Split command is available as many times as we use the Split tool. Splitting an event doesn't cut the original audio clip into pieces. The audio clip remains intact. OK, let's toggle Snap on by clicking here. And if you don't see the Snap Quantize tools on the toolbar, just right-click on any other tool and ensure that Snap slash Quantize is selected from the list of available tools. If you still don't see it, just hide some of the other tools because your screen resolution might not be big enough to display all the tools that you've got selected. The first drop-down menu is Snap Type, and we've got Grid selected. We'll talk about what these other options mean in our lesson on Snap Quantize. For now, we'll just stick with Grid. What this means is that our cuts will snap to a grid that we choose in the next drop-down menu. Since our primary time display is currently in time format, we see time options here with the current selection at one second. Let's right-click on the lower half of the ruler and select bars and beats for our primary time display and now the options under grid type have changed. Let's stick with bar. And this means our smallest split size will be one bar. We can now split our event precisely at the bar, and if we try to split anywhere that's not at the beginning of the bar, we simply won't be able to. Our zoom value is pretty close in here. I'm not able to make any cuts, and that's because I need to get over to the next bar, and that's where my split was placed for me. Snapping right to the second bar. Let's make another cut. Bar 3. Bar 4. If you hold down the Alt key on your PC or the Option key on your Mac, when you click on your event, the split you made will automatically be repeated right to the end of your event. Let's zoom to full so we can see the rest of our project. Hold down Alt or Option and split. And the split appears right through the end of the event, in our case, splitting right at the beginning of the bar. Let's zoom in a little bit. And of course, we can easily undo this repeat split by going to Edit on the main menu and selecting Undo Split. And this concludes our lesson about using the Split tool.